Okay, this video is about uh, the chemical structure known as dextromethorphan hydrobromide. Um, it's commonly found in uh, the uh, the Robitussin bottles and uh, in the uh, drug quercetin uh, cough and cold medications. And at any rate, um, dextromethorphan is uh, to begin the spiel is um, a hallucinogen that's uh, a disassociative. Um, is actually a thousand times uh, as potent as morphine, um, uh, at least according to uh, Wikipedia. And um, the trip itself on dextromethorphan, um, Robitussin trips are different, uh, with, rather than the crystalline powder is different, um, and quercetin trip is completely different than uh, the uh, Robitussin trips or anything like that because of the chloroform metalate in it that changed the trip. Anyway, um, the dextromethorphan experience comes more as an onset of stages and different climaxes will come up, up about throughout the trip and you'll notice that um, as these climaxes arise, uh, you'll feel as if so it's kind of like a stage, you know, a set that uh, it comes in wavelengths, like it comes in a stage format and um, um, and then with uh, Coruscant trip, it's, it, for me it was completely different. I uh, I got some very intense, you know, uh, reactions from uh, Coruscant tripping, and I don't recommend it to anybody because of the fact that it's uh, you know that it has chloroform metalate and it just probably isn't healthy at all if you just want a DXM trip because the DXM tripping is, I believe, a lot more fun than uh, using Coruscant cough and cold. But the quercetin and cough and cold, it was, um, my experience was rather, uh, uh, dark, and I didn't really like it, you know, at all, because I, uh, felt as if though I couldn't do much of anything, I couldn't see the phone straight, and I was having some relationship issues at that point in time, I was getting text from my girlfriend, and things were going wrong, she was thinking, double thinking about things, and I couldn't understand what she was talking about, and so I had to have, have my friends next to me be able to text her for me, and like every text that you know that I get, I just give to them, and they read it, and fucking they have to be able to um, you know fix that and be able to help me out because I couldn't see straight, and I couldn't. It was hard to talk, I was like mumbly and um, very out of sorts, I suppose you could say. But the, the extreme, it was an extreme trip, and visually at that, uh, very various forms of things were melting together. It felt as if there was a constant force of melting together, and it was a constant force of striving that it kept moving forward or towards something else, like the trip would become something else. But, um, so with dextromethorphan, um, uh, overuse of dextromethorphan over a uh, period of time can actually lead to results of uh, uh, HPPD disorders. Of, it also can actually, uh, you know, just not have the same glimmer as it used to. And many users, they uh, they stop using it because it's not the same as it used to be when they first started tripping. And, you know, I mean, it, it all depends on how much you use it and how frequently you use it before it becomes something that isn't as much of interest as it used to be. And um, at that end, it's, um, you know, drinking a bottle of Robitussin, like, you know, you got to look at, at the ingredients, you know, you got to be watching what's in there, you know, there's guy fessing in there, you know, could make somebody who has an upset stomach or an easily upset stomach throw up, or like, especially with acetaminophene in it, you got to, anything with that in it, don't get, you know, and, um, basically, it's a cheap high, but it's, um, in the long run, I would rather get a dextromethorphan normally not through use of quercetin because of chloroform metalate in it. And uh, that would be my um, addition here to um, the chemical structure known as dextromethorphan.